Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act Two with Manny Pacheco and Art Kirsch and myself, John Coleman. And of course, Manny, uh, you are our man in Hollywood. You are the guy who we turn to for all things Hollywood. Good morning, well, Manny. How are you? A good morning, Art. I'm doing well. Yes, you just gave it away. We are we are actually taping in the morning. <laughs> good. Yeah, well, it's okay, I, th otherwise people might think you have a green screen behind you and you're uh, simulating daylight. Okay. Well, <laughs> so I didn't want people to be confused. You you got me there. Okay. okay. <laughs> kind of like the people who have a green screen behind them and simulate surfers. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, who would do such a thing? Yeah. You know something, Manny? I'm really disappointed because uh, you and John and I were supposed to get together in Hollywood uh, what within a week or so and uh, tape a whole bunch of interviews uh, at a film festival. And so what, what did you do? What did you do to that? What, what, what did you do, Manny? I didn't do a thing. It's all because of all the closures that are going around uh, globally. <laughs> Not even locally. Globally, there's so many closures. Everything from the Cannes Film Festival uh, to, in Hollywood, the Turner Classic Film Festival going to be postponed for one year. Unbelievable. Yeah. And a very big disappointment. We, we I know we would have had a lot of fun there. Uh, Manny, oh, Turner yeah. Film Turner Classic Film Festival has become a huge event in Hollywood, hasn't it? Yeah, well, this would have been the 11th year. They had some great guests lined up. Uh, Julie Andrews, who was the first to cancel, by the way, uh, out of an abundance of caution. But they were going to have Russ Tamblin and George Shakiris and Margaret O'Brien and Michael uh, Michael J. Fox and... I mean, they had such a such a lineup of great stars as they always do. Lily Tomlin was going to get the uh, the uh, the Grauman's Chinese Theater touch, you know, putting her hands into the cement. So, That's it, great. It, yeah, it would have been a really uh, great time, a great chance to uh, actually get together with a lot of film aficionados and lovers of classic film. Of course, the uh, the TCM faithful would have been there, including Ben Mankiewicz and the and and all the other great hosts that they have there. Yeah. And I've been and I've been there a couple of times over the years, and it really is a lot of fun. I had a chance to uh, see a wonderful interview with uh, Shirley MacLaine, and I got to meet and shake hands with Leonard Maltin. So yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but it's not the only um, a major classic film festival in Hollywood, is it? There's another one uh, in well, the fall. What's yeah, it's actually a, it's it's actually Labor Day weekend. It's the oldest film festival in Southern California, the Cinecon Film Festival. It's, it's really celebrating 60, 65 something years, maybe even longer. Wow. But it's been a long, long time. Uh, what they do is they concentrate on the uh, late silent film era into the early talkies. They play a lot more uh, films that are obscure. And they celebrate actors that normally don't get mentioned in the more higher profile of uh, events. People like Jack Oakey is, is often celebrated. Uh, others of his kind that were, you know, really wonderful actors. But, but you know, people seem to forget them. And, and they want to make sure that they're not forget, forgotten. And it's sponsored by the Hollywood Heritage uh, out in, in, in Hollywood. And, of course, uh, Larry Edmonds Bookshop and, and a, a group of other uh, 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 folks who really work hard all year to bring this and because uh, it's taking place on Labor Day weekend right now the jury's out whether they're going to have it or not well I hope everything's cleared up by then because I would love to go to that too. but I have to tell you that uh, it was kind of interesting that when uh, we were first uh, the, they were first talking about not so much quarantining but that the numbers were spreading and uh, seniors had more issues generally than uh, others that uh the TCM was not closed right away, but I think all of a sudden, South by Southwest, with all the young people who were theoretically at less risk, which we've since found out is not necessarily true, uh, when they closed, I think that opened the floodgates to, hey, we can't possibly keep this open, especially those of us that have a, 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 an audience of uh, more senior uh, uh, people. 
Right. Well, people, I like I like to say people of a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> and then one other one other uh, not quite a festival, but uh, it's it's a major international group, the uh, Sons of the Desert Laurel and Hardy groups. <laughs> Uh, they have chapters all over the globe, and then they get together for yearly conventions. I mean, right now, I'm not sure that the chapters are getting together. They, I guess the chapters are called tents, so there tent. might be, a, yeah, they there might be a big business tent. I mean, they what they do is they use the uh, the films of Laurel and Hardy, and they and they refer to them as tents. That's and great. I've been I've been to a couple of those. I've actually been to the uh, International Film Festival. Uh, that that celebrates Sons of the Desert, and um, that's all up in the air as well. And that's a shame because talk about right now, what we need is a lot of laughter. And who can provide more laughter than the the work of of, of Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy? Babe, Oliver Hardy was also known as Babe. As Babe, so we'll yeah. Send out yeah. the shot to Babe. Uh, uh, Sons of the Desert is a great film, and I re I immediately picture. Uh, the two of them walking across the desert with uh, Hardy in front and Stan Laurel doing that skip that he did, that <laughs> kind of skip to catch up. Um, it was it was a great film and also uh, it featured a, a really wonderful silent film star and one of the rare talkies that he did, Charlie Chase. So, yeah, it's a great film and uh, I love it. But, it's it, yeah, unfortunately, now the, the, the weekly or monthly meetings that they have are all up in the air because everybody is quarantined. And well, if I may, one last individual who is really not getting their due at this point, um, the last great silent screen star known as Baby Peggy passed away uh, recently, 101 years old. Wow. wow. And they were going to have a memorial at the Niles SNA Classic uh, Film Museum up in Fremont, California. And of course, Northern California is a real hotspot for the coronavirus, COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah. And so they had to push the memorial to the, uh, to, to the late fall into the winter. And if you don't know who Baby Peggy was, she was known as the Million Dollar Baby. She was the last star of the silent era, big, biggest star as Jackie Coogan. And she was such a big star that in 1924, she was the official mascot of the 1924 Democratic Convention, taking pictures alongside um, one of the uh, Democratic faithful at the time, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Wow. Wow. Quite a history. And she just died at what did you say? One oh, 100? 101 years old. Mm -hmm. And and one more thing, if I may add, you know, a, another person who recently passed away, Kenny Rogers, right. the family yes. has also said that they're only going to have a family memorial because uh, of uh, uh, they want to pay res uh, respect that, that Rogers would have done himself to all of their fans and friends across the globe. Right. They want to keep everybody away because of this uh, contagion that we're we're, we're experiencing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, it's sad when we lose, uh, you know, the greats of any industry. But the, the entertainment industry seems to affect us more than others because um, we we feel like we know them so well f through films and, right. of course, television and uh, concerts and things like that. Yeah, in fact, uh, you know, the fans are so clever. I, I, I've read a couple of uh, blog posts and, and, and stuff from Facebook where they say that Kenny Rogers knew when to fold him because he was not going to go up against uh, yeah, the virus. The, the <laughs> right. <laughs> and That's good for good. him. That's but, clever and, and it's respectful, I think. Yes. What, yes. Like, what I would like to make sure we don't miss, though, is that M Manny has forgotten more about old Hollywood than I'll ever know. And but he, fact, wrote, he wrote it down for us. He Art. did. That's, that's you know, when, you're my, he, when you're my age, forgetting is not a good thing. <laughs> right. But <laughs> if you don't forget to go to Amazon, which is still not quarantined, they deliver all the time. <laughs> what, what, of, what of your gems are available on Amazon.com? The entire Forgotten Hollywood book series, Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History, uh, Son of Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History, and Road to Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History, and my blog site, ForgottenHollywood.com. Which is especially Which useful. Lots of great stuff. Especially useful for when people get up in the middle of the night and they turn on the news and they're seeing where everything is spread. Turn it off and go on the internet and go to ForgottenHollywood.com. It's a lot more enjoyable. 
than the other current news. And you could probably be reading for the next six to eight weeks and then find out everybody's been out of the house for a couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> also, also uh, a shameless plug for us, uh, please visit our YouTube channel, which now has our name, Celebrating Act Two. Uh, so it's youtube.com slash celebrating act two and you'll see interviews of Manny and lots of other interesting people and interesting things uh, uh, for you all or our website or send a note to art at uh, celebrating act two or john at celebrating act two uh, and tell us what you'd like to see uh, for our next time because we're taping people all over the world now and if they have great ideas for guests that are available to, to, to speak to you guys, I think that'd be wonderful too. That'd be great. Sure. Sure. Okay. Good. Good. And Art, thank you for that plug. <laughs> Manny, thank you for another very enjoyable conversation about Hollywood history. We really appreciate it. It's always fun to talk to you. Thank you. And thank you, our viewers and our supporters, mm -hmm. for letting us help you celebrate your act too. Thank you. See you guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.